Hey guys, and welcome back. Dev Spider here. So, we got a question in YouTube recently asking how to make medicated bandages. So, I've got a video out already on how to make regular bandages and how to make medkits on the how to series. So, we're going to go ahead and go over how to make medicated ones. So, obviously, to make those, you need to go to a cave. Inside the cave, you'll find the mushrooms that you need for them. If you don't know their recipe, you can come over here to Itempedia. I believe it's under Others and then Medicated Bandages. So you can craft these on the workbench. It cures the infected wounds. So the symbol you get, that's not the bleed icon, but the other one, um, you'll get it from pretty much anything that hits you. And you'll need a medicated bandage to take care of that. So that's made from one tallow, five plant fiber, and one mushroom. So it's the same recipe as the bandage. You just have to add in some mushrooms. You can also bolt craft these. Uh, you can bolt craft them on the workbench. And just like the regular ones, you'll get five of these as well. And that'll be five tallow, 25 plant fiber, and five mushrooms. So in order to get the mushrooms, like I said, you need to go into the caves. So if you go to your map, all these little gray symbols here, these little cave symbols, I mean, they look just like caves. So this is just one big cave, technically, but there's two entrances to it. There's another one here, one here, and one up here at the very top. Um, all these caves are different. Um, I'll make a video one day going over them. Uh, this is probably the smallest cave. This one I don't really care for either. Like this one's easy to find stuff in, but there's not a lot because it's so small. This cave has got tons of stuff inside of it. And uh, so we'll find the mushrooms in there. There's also other things to worry about inside of the caves, such as the scorpions. So for scorpions, when I deal with those, I like to have the headlamp so I can see. If not, you can bring a torch, just explore during the daytime. And the best way to kill scorpions is with the bow. And as you're wandering around, you need to pay attention. You'll see the rocks spawn again. These will give you lead and iron and clay. And then also small stone. There's a mushroom right there. And then as you walk around inside of here, stuff will spawn behind you really quickly. Uh, scorpions can fall from the ceiling. They'll come after you if you get too close to them. They do have an aggro range. So to get the mushrooms, it's just these tiny little things here. And they spawn randomly all over the cave. So you just harvest those by right clicking. They go into your food backpack. And as you can see, it says straight up when you grab them, it says found in caves. They weigh 0 0.04 pounds. They give you five health, minus two thirst, three carbs, two vitamins, one energy. So we can gather a bunch of those. I've already got some back at the main base. So we'll head back over there in just a second. As you can see, there's tons of these things everywhere. So you can get mushrooms relatively quickly and easily. Oh, and we just get hit by a scorpion. So there's a scorpion following me now. Let's see if we can't stop. He's already hit us once. He should be going to hit points. So... Like I said, I just like to shoot him with a bow. It's the easiest way. So then we'll go to our menu. We just need a regular bandage, so we'll just grab one of those. Or our last one. <laughs> so I guess we need to head out of the cave now since we're out of bandages. So as you can see, you can get turned around in these pretty easily. Um, and the scorpions will give you just one piece of meat. But besides that, that's all we're going to do for now. Then I'm going to just sprint back across the map. And we'll head back over here to the village. And then we'll go over how to make these on the workbench. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Alright guys, and we're back. So we made it back to the main save, or my main save on the infected. And we're going to go over how to finish making those medicated bandages really quick. So this is just an aerial view though of the village that I've built. There's a lot of repairs that need to be done now that the changes have happened. I've yet to come back and fix all the corners and roof, roofs and ceilings and things where they've changed. So there's some gaps left. But for the most part, it still looks pretty cool. And as you can see, the light's changing while the sun comes up. But uh, we're going to go ahead and head down from the stairway here and be careful so we don't die and take fall damage. No more jumping off like we used to do. Nope. No luxury elevators. But you can see the Vambies had their way with my place. They, uh tore my bridge up and tore up a few other things so we're gonna hit up the path right here and this is the big house but we're gonna go over here to the forge where we keep all the crafting materials and stuff at and make our way inside here to go ahead and start crafting those bandages so for those like I said we're gonna need mushrooms we're gonna need plant fiber and we're gonna need tallow so for tallow to, we can bolt craft that as well that's gonna be 10 animal fat so we're gonna hold shift and go ahead and get 10 pieces of that Go ahead and craft that up. Alright, so then once that's done, then we just need to make the bandages themselves. And again, this is just on the workbench. 
So it'll be five tallow, so we're gonna split our stack. 25 plant fiber, so we'll split that one. Again, I'm just holding down the shift key and dragging it over. And then we'll need five mushrooms. All right, and craft it, and now we should have five more medicated bandages, which we do. Another way if you wanna move items over to the workbench is you can do an alt right click. So if we need five mushrooms, we can just hold down the alt key and then right click. There's a little bit of a delay in there, so you can't rapidly right click, so just slowly click it over. And that'll move one item at a time if you don't want to hold the shift and move a, move a stack at a time. And then we'll still need the 25 plant fiber and the 5 tallow. And now we have 10 more extra medicated bandages. So we'll just, I don't need those here, so I'm just going to store them in my healing chest with all my other stuff. And then we'll add the animal fat. Like this is, like I said, this is my main save. So as you can see, I've got tons of materials of everything. So <laughs> don't really need much of anything else at this point of the game. But somebody on uh, YouTube, I'd have to go look the name up. I can't remember off the top of my head right now because I've taken so long to get around to making the video. But they're asking how to make those bandages. So that'll be the final health item, I think, that I've yet to go over. And with that, the next video we'll be working on will probably be on the main main save where we're finishing up the greenhouses up here on top of the I don't know what I'm going to call this yet but it's where I store all the um, ingots so here are the 50 mineral extractors that I've made for iron and then we have 7 oil extractors and 2 clay extractors just here alone what's up Mr. Pig he's having a good day we had to build a separate water house up here if anybody doesn't know I'll go ahead and drop that tidbit here the water house has a limit of 24 and a half foundations so it does not, it will not cover the entire map. You'll have to build one, you know, every so often based on the distance of how big your build is. So this is just where I store all my, my ingots and stuff. You can see I'm kind of low. Well, I say low, but like I can house like 20,000 ingots in here. And uh, we've got uh, 13 forges, brick forges. You, I cannot use them all at once because it's just, I'm not, there's like no way to be that fast. But I, like I said, I think the next video is just going to be finishing the top part of this. Because we've already got all the, the greenhouses made. So we have one for each type of plant. We will need to make another one with the onion coming out 9.4. So we'll probably put it right here and just move these somewhere else. Those are just temporary anyways. I just needed a little bit more power for the water house. I think I have like 10,000 power producing on this one. But I have so many bases that I just... <laughs> if I build anything extra, I have to build more power to go with it. So each one of these greenhouses houses a separate type of fruit so we have a little bit of everything we don't sleep we come up here and we just eat the melons and that is how we go about doing everything and yeah I know I could squeeze more in here it's just like you'll never use that much food it's just no purpose and with the new update coming out where we're not going to be able to have vegetables grow in the winter unless they're in one of these or inside a building where they're perfectly protected by heat I figured this would be the quickest and easiest way to get all of my vitamins and nutrients, especially with the new updates coming. That's going to allow us to increase all of our stats by 100 points. So if you hadn't watched that yet, uh, you might want to check out the 9.4 update that's upcoming because we will be able to max out vitamins, water, and proteins, I think, too, just based on the different types of foods we can make. So I hope this video helped you guys out. As always, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button below. Any questions or comments, just leave them. I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And thanks for watching.